Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Carrie. Right, that's random. It's time for origami. Origami. I forgot what we're doing. I was going to call it crafts, but it is. <laughs> it's crafty origami. It is. It is. Um, here we go. We're doing a T-Rex on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, I first time. That, I believe that I've made a T-Rex before when it was supposed to be like a dog, maybe, or something. I think we've done it like seven times. There's when been we were multiple dinosaurs, but here we go. All right, mark the creases following the dotted lines. This is like boxes, you know. Yeah, they're on squares instead of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Green T-Rexes, mm -hmm. obviously. <laughs> it felt right. Okay, and then turn it over and create diag diagonal creases. Probably matters turning it over, so don't skip that step. Okay. I'm not worrying about precision. I should, but you know what? This this is a three page long origami, and we know nobody's gonna watch this for thirty minutes. My mom will. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's nice. Yes. Okay. Follow the construction creases and fold your origami. Done. <laughs> oh, I did it. What? Just tuck this side. You need a triangle. I got. It. Yeah, just, a crab rangoon. Yeah, and if you do that, you've got right. your thing. Okay. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> but I folded a crab, crab rangoon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But now theirs looks different. What the heck? It's, oh. Is that is that not a triangle? Was that supposed to be a diamond? It definitely looks like a triangle. Mm -hmm. See, friends? Triangle. And now. Oh, but look, the bottom looks like it is. Okay. So maybe I was wrong. Because we're With the opening square. facing downwards, fold the corners toward the center. But they definitely have a square there, so we can't do it with a triangle. I love me some origami. There. A square, and I've only got the opening at the bottom. And it has the line matching like what they did. Cute Good job. Good job. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I just smushed some stuff to get it. <laughs> Me too. That is step three. I just want to point out, there's like 37 steps because there's three pages. The book's getting harder every <laughs> Every week. I did turn mine upside down. I don't know if that mattered. Like like I flipped the paper over. And maybe that's what let it fold easier. Back to Crab Rangoon. Mm. So if I was open, I was taking like two corners to the middle. And then it folds in like that. So if you have it as a diamond your open paper as a diamond, mm -hmm. um, then it would be the two sides that go into the middle. Your side corners, those two corners come to the middle. But yours like are and inverted then, and mine are converted. So I don't have any corners. So if you turn it like this, your thing would be the same, right? There it goes. Yay, we did it. Had to be turned inside out. Yeah. With the opening facing downwards, fold the corners towards the center. So they want the side Just ones. Just the top layer, too, it looks like. Yeah, and I think we're keeping that point at the bottom. Oh, this is how we made a cicada. <laughs> and other fun things. <laughs> that looked like a T-Rex. Turn your origami over. And we're going to fold Repeat it in Repeat the fold from step four. Okay, those don't quite line up at all. Same. We're just going to embrace it because knowing us, that's not going to be our It's not going to be the thing that stops us at all. Okay. Fold the top corner downward following the dotted line. Oh, 
Oh, to create a crease. Okay, so we creased it and then unfolded it. I was like, why is it the original shape again? Okay, unfold the corners on both sides. Okay, so we're back as we started. Um, fold the bottom. Does it mean both sides? Yeah, so it's all Are you sure again. or? Because it still looks folded on the other side. Oh. I think it means right side and left side, not top side and bottom side. Okay. Fold the bottom upwards and repeat on the other side. Maybe we do have to. Maybe we do have to undo these sides. How far did you fold it upward? Um, as far as it could go. Do you have middle guts still in there? Um, yeah. So now I have that. Okay. Okay, and it said to do it on the other side, which we did, but ours does not look like that. Not at all. <laughs> so I wonder, yeah. we had these here, we left it there. The bottom upwards and repeat on the other side, but that doesn't work. Hmm. Wow. I was impressed with my crab rangoon. I want to know why there's this different. Okay, I'm going to backtrack a bit. So mm -hmm. we were we had these things. here, and we did our crease. Let me open it. And then, oh, because this was here too. Okay, so we unfolded the corners, like they said. Uh -huh. And it says to do it on both sides. And I think it means, oh, but they didn't say, they didn't say flip it over yet. Right. So, okay, so we have it here. Fold the bottom upwards. Fold the bottom upwards. But nothing about this fold is going to look like that picture. Unless we fold something back. I have to do that to be able to fold it up. So if I do that, I get this, oh. but without, without having those things folded in somewhere on the side, we don't have it look like it. But besides that part, it looks like it, you know what I mean? It's just those wing things, it's this, but they told us to unfold. Maybe if we just Should leave we just... our kite and then try this. Because <laughs> if I just put my stuff back in like uh -huh. this as it was. Yep. Oh, but that doesn't match because they have it all the way. They've got what some the legs here. Yeah. What the heck do they do? Oh, no, that's our first. It's like a slit all the way. It goes all the way up. And that just doesn't even match at all. Not at all. Oh, wait. Does... Okay. So when they folded up, when they folded up, if they went further up, you know how when they 
We've done it in the past where it made it look like other things. You know, we go like that, then we get it. So it's when we make anatomy. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it, that matches it. It's a good thing we did that other book first or we'd never stand a chance. I can't get mine to do. I got it on one side as per the use. Okay, holy son of a nutcracker. All right. Yes. Where does that fit feel? <laughs> so it looks the same, but these are very different edges. So I don't know. With the opening facing downward. Which part would we consider the down? <laughs> probably, probably this is the opening or is that the opening? Which would you choose, friends? Legs or guts? <laughs> um, I think the legs are on the bottom. Fold the top corner downwards. How, oh, I, How far? It looks like it's in half. It does, but then when you look at the... Oh, because the next one... Oh, yeah. There we go. Because it exposes the the inside part mm -hmm. where it goes on here. Okay. Then turn it over. Are we in the same place? Oh, no. I could never oh. get that. So I'm Do you just, want me just to... folding things. No. That's all right. Okay. We turn Sorry, it um... over. On. Create. I've made a kite for your T-Rex. <laughs> Create creases by folding the tip following the dotted lines. Okay, so we just want creases. Lord. And then fold the origami in half this way. Okay. Unfold and unfold the crease and reverse the fold following the dotted lines. Unfold what crease? Is it? Hmm. That's your goal. Why does it have that dotted line thing there? Oh wow, they did a terrible job here. It's a QR code. I wonder if it talks you through it. We've never done the QR code before. Yeah. I don't know. Did the set kind of look like I am sure. the fold? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And then this, fold the tip upwards, opening and reversing the fold. Great. I can't tell if that matches what they did. Kind of. Tuck the tip inside to shape the head. They went this that way. way. This is what? Oh, because I'm looking at it the wrong perspective, that's why. Okay, so you have this. And then tuck the tip inside to shape the leg. 
So this part is going all inside. You're so close. Maybe. Grasaba. <laughs> the tip downwards on both sides. You should try to get it on the camera. So you're the only one doing this. The rear legs. Uh oh. Yeah, both <laughs> sides. That's funny. Hmm. You sure all stuck in this one? Sure. Sure don't have both sides. I think yours is going to be a pterodactyl. It's yeah. just going to fly. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to embrace this. We're going to let it... Oh, there they are. You got it. <laughs> I found some legs. We sprouted some legs here. His tail. Was this supposed to be somewhere? We don't know. That's his tail. Don't pull those apart. Well, I need a second leg. <laughs> I don't know that or they have two that, legs. Oh, they're, they're connected. Me, okay. That's weird that his legs are connected, but his tail isn't. But whatever. Okay. Fold the tip following the dotted lines backwards, reversing the fold on both legs. Nope, but there's, there's one. I feel like. <laughs> At some point he got turned around funny, maybe. But look oh, at you were, making it happen. There were many opportunities for him to get turned around. He's walking backwards. <laughs> on his <laughs> feet are facing on his the wrong way. He's a, he's a beast of a dinosaur. His feet are facing the wrong way. But they said go backwards. But they're definitely going forward. <laughs> Which is crazy because they show it going that way. But I see what you're saying. It absolutely did switch. Bruh. <laughs> this is why we're confused. They they changed their mind. There we kind of go. Okay. There you go. Um, the T Rex the is ready. I believe our oopses in other cases looked more T Rexy, um, but. Whatever. <laughs> and he has a kite that's bigger than him. <laughs> I love it. He's a happy little T-Rex flying his kite. Or maybe it's something. We are only, we're not halfway through the book. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm aging and, out of the... And that was two weeks uh, in a row where at least one of us has, has really had a hard time. So good luck finishing this book. It goes to three stars in round yeah, two. You will see. Yeah, there you go. Origami. With Jess. <laughs> and Carrie. <laughs>